people of the world, thank you so much for joining me here today on Lumiere. It is a beautiful sunny day here in England. It's the autumn and there's a lot of mellow fruitfulness in the air, a little bit of mist outside, it's still quite early, so it feels really magical. So there's some magic in the air for doing this reading today and today's reading is for my lovely beautiful singles out there. This is your next relationship, so not like the next person you're going to date, but your next uh, sort of relationship, your next union, all right? Please bear in mind this is just a general reading and also we are looking at a lot of future energy, so you may find Find that it doesn't quite resonate with you right now because this person uh, maybe isn't in your life at this time. So please just bear that in mind, maybe bookmark this video and see how things unfold. Uh, before we jump in, I just want to thank my Lumis, my amazing subscribers all over the world. Thank you so much uh, for your support and also for supporting each other. I see how you support each other down in the chat uh, down below the videos as well. So that is... Uh, so, so lovely to see. All right, I've got four groups for you today. I will insert an overhead picture, both with and without crystals, as always, so that you can make your selection in the way that suits you best. Group one is the turquoise, group two is the celestite, group three is the raw aquamarine, and group four is the aura quartz. All right, I ask that you choose from your intuition. You are welcome to pause the video if you need a little bit more time. While you make your selection, I will just let you know that my beautiful book, Feminine Frequency, is out now. It's my newest book. It's a follow-up to Attract Soulmate Love, and it's all for feminine energy communication. So through online communication, uh, behavior, body language, and also conversation. So if you are the feminine energy partner, and you are looking to call that masculine energy partner into your life, then this book is for you. Check that out if it resonates, but otherwise make your selection. Timestamps are in the description box, and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful turquoise stone with this wonderful patination on it. It's very uh, special, all right? So I'm gonna start with your oracle cards today and then I've got some letter tiles as well, which I will be drawing uh, to get some initials of this person as well. So we have conclusions are within reach from the Moonology deck, unicorn, stay optimistic about your love life, release your ex, connect to the heart, and the card focus, all right? So I feel like, um, this has got a snow leopard on it, so that may be like a spirit animal or a sign for you. This card focus indicates to me that your person is, um, oh, I'm getting a few messages actually. I feel like for a living, they may do something which is quite detail orientated, that takes a lot of focus, all right? Um, and that they have an eye for small detail. So this is just a message that I'm getting about them as well. But there's this energy as well that their focus is gonna be on you. I feel like their focus is looking for a relationship so that they are relationship ready and that they are going to be fully focused on you when you meet. All right. We have this card connect to the heart um, and there's two dogs on this card and dogs are very loyal, aren't they? So they have that loyal heart. So, and I feel like you are a very, excuse me, very loyal person. You have all that beautiful love in your heart space. And I feel like this person is gonna be a match for that for you. So, you know, you'll be able to connect from the heart space. Um, this person that you're gonna meet, um, you know, you'll be able to connect heart to heart. So what I'm hearing is that like you're on the same page. So again, this, this, um, sign that they are relationship ready, okay? That they're kind of at that stage in their life where they're kind of, they want a relationship and they're open to a relationship, which is really nice. I feel like for some of you, this is a message that I've just got. You may, um, if you are a dog owner or you walk somebody else's dog, maybe your neighbor's dog, something like this, you may meet this person when you are dog walking um, or at the dog park or something like this. So I feel like um, that is quite sweet. Um, this is an interesting message. Stay optimistic about your love life and release your ex. So I sense that um, there is some energy to do with an old relationship which is still in your energetic field, which maybe you need to kind of cleanse and recalibrate. So this may be something recent. You know, you're still uh, maybe hurting over a past 
uh, you know, recent breakup, or it could be something from a while ago, and you've got that kind of feeling of the one who got away, or no one's going to be as good as this one, or that one was, um, and you've got that kind of energy. And if um, you're holding on to that and you resonate with that, then spirit is really saying, uh, you know, what can you do to be empowered and to shift that energy because it's stopping. Um, your good from coming to you and we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so have faith that someone good is coming you don't need to tar everybody with the same brush um, if you've had a bad experience in the past don't dwell on it you know change your story around whatever it is that has happened you know if someone has hurt you then perhaps you can just say well that is because that person wasn't meant to be in my life and it's because this person is meant to be in my life and because there is something so much better. So spirit is really saying that you've got, uh, you know, good reason to be optimistic um, about what's happening. Now this is so beautiful. The unicorn animal spirit card. This is saying that this is somebody that you have a psychic connection with. You already have a spiritual connection. This really indicates to me that you're soulmates or twin flames. So when you meet them, there's gonna be this instant recognition between you both um, of kind of uh, an inner knowing that your souls, of, souls recognize each other, that you always know each other and you will have a deep bond with this person I also sense that this person will be um, kind of like quite charming, uh, that they'll have really good manners, that um, they'll be quite good looking, um, you know, that they'll be attractive, right, um, in their appearance. They're going to be very attractive. They're just, they're very kind. This is a very kind person who you're going to be in a relationship with. But just this spiritual bond and this person is like, they, if you're looking for a spiritual person, you know, if you, if someone who uh, understands that there's more to life than meets the eye than, than this person who's got that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Now, if you have an eclipse in uh, maybe your uh, astrological birth chart, then this message is definitely for you. I feel like you will meet this person around the time of an eclipse. Could be a full eclipse or a partial eclipse, um, probably a lunar eclipse, but maybe um, could be a solar eclipse as well because it's just the word eclipse that's really um, standing out for me now. So, and it says conclusions are within reach. So I'm just wondering if, um, I'm getting two messages. It could be the conclusion of kind of like wrapping up an old relationship energetically in order to move forward. Or it could be that you've already met this person and it's kind of been a bit, will they, won't they, right? Is it gonna happen? Is not is it gonna happen? Um, you know, and things have maybe been a little bit undefined with this person, or you've just been friends, but you wanted more. So this is just a message from Spirit saying that um, those conclusions are coming for you. Uh, but whatever happens, um, it's going to be you know, just the best for you. It's going to bring like a lot of fulfillment. All right, I'm going to pick a few letters and then we'll look at your tarot cards today. We have an I. W. I have to try not to spell something rude. I think I've told you the story about the time I spelled something rude. E. <clears throat> N. A couple of times I spelled something rude actually. Another N. So N is very significant uh, with this person. An A. Another A. A D. And I'll just get one more. I'm being called just to get one more. And another D. <laughs> Double Ds. Um, so yeah, N. So we've got I, W, E, N twice, D twice, A twice. So those are very significant to you. All right. Um, let's take a look at your tarot cards. We've got the Two of Swords. Page of Wands. Six of Wands. Another six, six of swords, chariot, page of pentacles, page of swords, seven of swords, don't panic, <laughs> and the ten of cups. We will talk about it. 
let's talk about it let's look at it in terms of the bigger picture as well so i see this two of swords here for you you know this is like a crossroads in your life you can decide uh to stay in um your limiting beliefs based on your past experiences which are going to end up closing your heart to the possibility of this beautiful relationship coming in but i see you kind of choosing to open your heart um and to move forward with that but this card just indicates to me like a little message from spirit that perhaps you have wanted a relationship and you wanted um um, you know to meet somebody really special and this is what is indicated here with this unicorn you know this is somebody really special and what I'm hearing from spirit is that they are meant for you so it's just like you are such a good match that they just wouldn't fit with anybody else that's the message from the unicorn card is that kind of specialness so this is what you're opening your heart to. Perhaps you've closed your heart off a little bit in the past in order to protect yourself. I see that here, but Spirit is really saying, open your heart. Um, because when we close ourselves off to the pain, we also close ourselves off to the love and the joy. I know it's easier said than done, and it may be something that you don't realize that has happened. You know, we just um, go through life and kind of our experiences can gradually shut us down. So just please be aware of that. Now you've got three pages here in this reading. I can see page of wands, page of pentacles and page of swords. So a lot of fresh energy coming in for you and I think it's about time. Um, so that is really nice. I feel like this person may be slightly younger than you, possibly, um, who is your next relationship or they could just be a younger soul, right? So you just feel like, um, you've got a little bit more life experience than they have, perhaps, something like this. So um, it's definitely indicated that they may be a student as well. So not necessarily a young student. They could still be, uh, you know, they could be working and then learning something in the evening or they could have returned to college to retrain for something, all right? Let's get some tea in me, come on. Um, so yeah, Page of Wands, to the six of wands, this is somebody who's very confident. This is somebody who likes to try new things, who likes to travel, right? Um, this is somebody that you find very attractive. I'm hearing that um, they're right up your street. When you see them, there's gonna be, maybe not love at first sight, but definitely lust at first sight. I definitely sense that um, they're really gonna be uh, your cup of tea. Um, they're gonna be just your type, is what I'm hearing. So you, whatever your type is, this person is just your type. Um, this may be somebody who's got a social media presence, they may have a lot of Instagram followers or a podcast or um, something like this. This is somebody that uh, cares a lot about their appearance, they really like to take care of themselves, to groom themselves, um, to that they're quite stylish, they know how to kind of put an outfit together and kind of look good on a night out. Um, so... Yeah, I've, I like it a lot. I like this a lot for you. I'm seeing Cancer's energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and uh, Leo's energy is represented here very strongly as well. So uh, that may resonate with you. This is somebody who has got a lot of friends um, and likes to socialize a lot. This is definitely someone who is um, a, more of an extrovert than an introvert. They love uh, meeting new people is what I'm hearing. This some person, may come from overseas with the Six of Wands to the um, Chariot energy. Um, they may have, it may be the case that you have to kind of travel to be with one another. Uh, it may be long distance to begin with, not necessarily. Um, or it could just be that this person has come from a different country or a different city and they've relocated, right? So this is someone that's relocated. Or perhaps if you have relocated or you're in the process of relocating, then you will meet somebody as uh, a result of that relocation, right? Um, again, this energy of moving on, right? from your past because i see you know this past energy here there's two of swords moving on from that to create something new i see a lot of fast changes coming in um in your romantic life as well if you've been feeling that it's been the same old same old and you meet people but you don't you're not attracted to them um i feel like things are going to really um change for you very quickly all right Again, it's indicated that this is somebody very spiritual. Um, so, and also just somebody, someone who's really enthusiastic about life. They're, they're very optimistic, right? And like positive to be around. They've got this kind of magnetic energy. Um, they don't doubt themselves, right? They're confident about what they're doing. They're confident when they're dating. 
Um, and perhaps they're mirroring your own energy and how you've been working on yourself, right? Which is really nice. Um, they're definitely spiritual. They may have a spiritual practice, um, you know, of meditation or something like this, or just reading uh, books about metaphysics. Something like that is indicated here. Again, Page of Swords, this detail oriented thing that we were talking about at the beginning with the card focus, um, that they may have a job in communication as well. Um, kind of maybe like a social media manager or some sort of job to do with communication. They may work in that um, sort of industry. That's what I'm seeing here. But And again, it's indicated that they may uh, still be a student. This is someone that you can really talk to, right? When you're talking to them, you're really on the same page and you can share a lot of ideas with them. And this is kind of helps you to bond. So you've got like this very similar view of life and of the world. Now the Seven of Swords, we need to talk about this. This is, right, I'm getting a couple of messages because, you know, there isn't just one meaning to a card. These beautiful tarot cards have layers of meaning in them. So I have to take it in the broader picture of this reading, you know, the broader uh, message that is coming through. So this can often mean like getting stressed out with controlling things right? You do not need to um, stress out about your love life or try and control everything to kind of make this happen. Spirit is really saying just let things unfold naturally. But the strongest message that I'm getting, because it's followed by this beautiful ten of cups, right? Um, this is complete emotional fulfillment, um, you know, happiness. This is somebody who eventually will want to have a family. Uh, you know, I feel like they're quite... Uh, a family person, that they're really good with children, that kids are really drawn to them, right? Um, but just this complete emotional fulfillment of just like, yes, you are my everything, this is how they feel about you, that you're able to connect at that level and share that. But what I'm seeing here, look, this guy is kind of sneaky, right? On the Seven of Swords. So this happiness is going to sneak up on you. This is the message that I'm getting from spirit, not any shadiness, because it's just like this beautiful sunshine, this beautiful rainbow of hope. So this happiness is gonna sneak up on you. So maybe um, it's a bit of a slow burn, maybe like um, it's gonna be something that develops. And maybe when you first meet them, you don't realize that it's gonna be kind of, a, you know, could turn into a relationship or be something that's so fulfilling or be something that's so long-term right? Um, so this happiness is going to be something that sneaks up on you, kind of like out of the blue is what I'm hearing. So um, I feel like you're going to meet this person either through your family or um, possibly through social media if you're on an app as well. That's the most uh, heavily ind indicated thing rather than at work, all right? That's everything that I have for you in this reading. I hope you have found it fun and beneficial for you. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. Um, it's so lovely to spend this time with you. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love, and my collection of meditations. Um, the link down below, but there's more about me and what I have to offer on my website, lumiertarot.com. Do check me out if that resonates, but otherwise have an amazing week. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful Celestite Cluster Crystal. Uh, there you go. Uh, beautiful, gentle, calming, healing energy from this stone. All right, I'm going to begin with your oracle cards today and I'm going to draw some uh, letter tiles as well. So I've got some initials for your person. I'm going to take a look at the energy surrounding your next relationship. Okay, we have be bold and make the first move. Stingray, Flirt, Romantic Feelings, The Sage, and Flow. Look at this beautiful imagery on this card. All my decks are linked in the description box, but I don't know which one this is. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember. Um, I sense with this flow, this is somebody who likes to go with the flow. This is somebody who doesn't like to uh, worry about things too much. I don't think it even occurs to them. They just go with the flow of life. Obviously, this flow represents water, uh, the element of emotion. So, you know, just deep love um, from this person. This is somebody who's got a really beautiful open heart, who is kind of capable of loving, um, which is a good start. Let's be, let's be real. 
So I really like this. Uh, it feels very romantic, this card as well. So I sense that this is somebody quite romantic, uh, you know, in the beautiful moonlight here. Um, I sense that with this flow energy as well, I'm getting a lot of imagery, uh, images of oceans and water. So this may be somebody who comes from a coastal town or you will meet them when you are, uh, you know, by the ocean, perhaps if you're on vac vacation or you um, live there or visit there. So some sort of strong um, coastal ocean theme with this person, you know, perhaps it's where they grew up or... Um, but possibly where you're going to meet them is what I'm picking up on. This is Romantic Feelings and Flirt from the Romance Angels deck. So this is nice. So this is somebody, I feel like this is somebody, this is the vibe that I'm getting, that you're just like, is that person flirting with me? Are they flirting with me? Is this what's happening? Right? Um, so this is kind of what I'm sensing here, where you're just like, oh, I can't tell, I can't tell if they're into me or not, you're kind of trying to pick up on it, but they've got these uh, secret romantic feelings for you, so I just sense that they've got, it's someone who's got a crush on you, and maybe right now, maybe something that develops um, in the near future, um, it says your feelings are real and worth exploring, it may be somebody that you, you know, that's resonating with you now, that you sometimes have a little free song with, you're just like, I'm sure there's something more going on here. So that's what I'm picking up on there. But yeah, somebody who, uh, you know, wants to flirt with you is trying to get the measure of how you feel. But it's somebody who, uh, who has a crush on you. It says be bold and make the first move. Um, that's all very well if you are the masculine energy person. But if you are the feminine energy person, I don't recommend that. Um, but because it may be seen as being too aggressive, it may put them off. But what I am getting, the message that I am getting is that you need to give this person, when they come into your life, a little bit of encouragement because I feel like they're going to be a little bit shy in coming forward. I think like they've got you up on a pedestal, they think you're a little bit magical, um, they feel a little bit unsure. What I'm hearing is that they feel unsure of themselves when it comes to dating. Um, I'll take a look, look at the cards and we'll see, but there's just this energy that they feel unsure of themselves. So that will help them to feel more confident if you can, uh, you know, give them a bit of encouragement when they show up in your life. We've got the card, the Sage. This indicates that they may be a little bit older than you if you're looking for someone a bit older than you. Um, there's all these sort of wisdom teeth on uh, in the image here, uh, embossed in gold. Um, so this is somebody who... Um, just is very wise, you know, they good, give really good counsel, you know, they give really good advice, they may be in a career where they are helping out other people or giving advice to people, so they may be in an advisory role, a managerial role, um, they may be in a role where they're just kind of uh, helping people to solve problems, uh, something like this, so this is indicated here, but just a lot of wisdom. This indicates to me that they are an old soul as well. So, you know, they may be the same age as you, but they've just, they've got an old soul and um, they, they've they been through many lifetimes is what I'm hearing. So that's nice. We have the beautiful animal spirit card, Stingray from the Wild Unknown. I love this so much. This this indicates, that, again, that they go with the flow, that beautiful flowing energy, that they're able to flow with life, like whatever uh, life throws at them. It doesn't really uh, put them off their game, really. This is somebody who's very intuitive. They may be psychic. They may not know that. Um, this is what I'm picking up on. And just this beautiful chakra image here. I don't know if you can see it with the colors. I'm gonna come into focus. Um, all the colors lined up like the chakras. Someone is kind of like grounded, they're in alignment, they know who they are, they know what they're about in life. So there's no messing around here, but this is somebody who's been on a journey, right? Like a spiritual journey. So it may be that they've been through difficult circumstances or they've come from a difficult background and they've had to overcome these challenges in their life, maybe uh, financial challenges or uh, even abuse or neglect or um, uh, health problems, something like this, and they've overcome this, and this has developed their character and made them like a stronger person. Now, this may not be something that you know about them straight away, but it's coming out because it is uh, very significant to who they are. So I'm sensing that they're kind of, what I'm hearing is very graceful, um, 
So if they're a man, I don't know, maybe they're like a really good dancer, they know how to, um, you know, make the moves on the dance floor or that they really appreciate music is what I'm hearing as well. Like the, um, there's something about music that really nourishes them. So they're really into music, whatever kind of music that is. Um, I was just getting an image of like a symphony and of notes. So that may uh, be indicated as well in the kind of the flow images that I'm getting. That, um, cause music kind of flows like that. They may be a musician or, um, not necessarily as a career, but like in their uh, spare time. I'm gonna draw some letter tiles for you, an X. Here we go, very specific. An R, an A, what's this one, a C, and an S, all right. Let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what else we can get. So we've got the moon, Pisces energy here, um, the hermit, Virgo's energy, queen of swords, king of wands in reverse, page of pentacles, four of wands, king of swords, King of Pentacles and Five of Wands. Interesting energies here. So um, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius represented here as well as Leo's energy and Taurus as well. So quite a few uh, different energies from the Zodiacs. Um, this is somebody, wow, this is interesting with this opening. The Moon to the Hermit. So I don't know whether this is you or whether this is them, but there is just, I feel like they haven't opened their heart for a long time until they meet you because they've been hurt in the past. Um, and they've got some fear, some reluctance is what I'm hearing to kind of get involved at a deep level or, or they have done up until this moment. It could be that the challenges that they've experienced in their life, maybe it isn't a romantic thing, maybe that's why they are a little bit uh, like selective is what I'm hearing about who it is that they date and who they get involved with. And they're not the sort of person who would lead anybody on, right? They're very kind of measured and um, very genuine, right? So this is what I'm getting here. So, but this could also be your energy. You know, perhaps you are in that energy where you're just like, I'm happy being single or um, I'm done with love, even though you are here watching this video. Um, so maybe that's not quite true. Right, so that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like um, they're gonna be, we talked about this a little bit, that you needed to give them a little bit of encouragement. I feel like they are worried that you are gonna reject them with this Queen of Swords, regardless of your gender. And that this is why they're a little bit slow to take action with this King of Wands in the reverse. So they may not, I feel like they're not sure about your feelings and they're not sure um, how you will, ac you know, whether or not you will accept them. And they're quite unsure of themselves when it comes to uh, romance and relationships. They feel like they can't really trust their own judgment um, for whether or not somebody likes them, which is why you need to give them that uh, little bit of encouragement because they fear um, making a mistake and getting it wrong, okay? Um, it may also be that, um, you know, you've got your boundaries, you're not willing to let in just anybody, but just make sure that that, uh, you know, that's super healthy and amazing, but that doesn't trip over into kind of uh, being unapproachable or being fierce or like having that in your energetic frequency, you know, it'll be warm and open um, is what is the message that I'm getting from spirit. So I feel like this person is a little bit shy, particularly around romance. I feel like they're more likely to be an introvert than an extrovert, okay? that's indicated here. Um, this is someone who's really curious about you. We've got this page of pentacles at the center of your reading, four of wands. This is someone who's really curious about you. So maybe it's someone you've already met. Um, you've already, 
maybe you know each other or maybe you know each other in passing I feel like you're going to meet this person through your family or through like a family friend or a cousin or something like this or that there's some sort of connection there where you may not be aware of it until you get to know them better but there is um this is the sense that I'm getting but they're so curious about you they're like you've piqued their interest they're just like what's going on with them you know they want to kind of you know, they want to find out what it takes to kind of get closer to you, to get into your inner sanctum. You know, this is the 1111 card as well. So in this is like a spiritual seeker. So it's indicated that this person's got like a spiritual nature to them. You know, like we were talking about them being intuitive, something like this. But yeah, they're really, the main thing that I'm getting is they're just super curious about you. They want to know what's going on with you. They want to know how to get close to you. This is somebody who is really solid, really well grounded, um, you know, is the real deal, is what I'm hearing as well. This is somebody who wants to create a stable foundation, a stable home, maybe if you're at that stage in your life, you know, possibly kind of living together. And this is what they're looking for, right? This is what they're looking for. So it may be that they're looking for exactly what you are looking for. They want a relationship. They want a happy home life. They want to live with somebody, right? So many people out there on the dating market say that they want a relationship and they just like want to be players or they want to play games or they want to mess around. But this is somebody who like genuinely wants to be in a relationship and would feel good about doing that. You know, they would find it enriching, right? Um, this is someone very intelligent. They're going to be very highly educated, um, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, which is really good. They've got a really sharp mind, uh, which I feel that they have to use in their day-to-day uh, -day life and in their work. You've got a lot of king energy. You've got king of wands, you've got king of swords, and you've got king of pentacles. So this is why it's indicated that this is someone who's got many facets to them, who is well-rounded, who is mature. They're emotionally mature. Um, you know, they're mature with their finances, they're looking to the long term, all right, they've got an idea about what it is that they want for um, the long term and the sort of long term plan, so this isn't somebody wishy-washy, this isn't somebody who doesn't know what it is that, that they want, um, but it's interesting because we've got this five of wands, so I feel like there's this energy of competition around you. So if you are dating, that kind of could pique some interest. It could be that you've got to, to choose from, from your next relationship. And Spirit isn't going to tell you who that is because, you know, you decide your own destiny. You are in the driving seat of your life. So it may be that you've got, it could be like there's been no one for ages and now there are two people that you just think, yeah, they're really cool or yeah, I'm attracted to both of them or... Um, who you are dating or it could be one from the past and one new one right but there's this energy around you um, of competition or it could be that you get into this connection or relationship um, and then you just find that like people are asking you out that happened to a friend of mine she hadn't dated anyone for ages and then when she got into a relationship no one ever asked her out even though she was really lovely beautiful very feminine um, and then when she got into this relationship just like loads of guys just asking her out all the time and trying to get her number and stuff so it was really strange so I feel like there might be a little bit of that energy for you with this five of wands so um it's like you know they're prepared to fight for you if there's a little bit of resistance from you which I think is good when you're getting to know somebody new you don't want to just like uh give your heart over to them on a silver platter if there's a little bit of resistance then they will fight for you so yeah that's what i see for you in this reading for your next relationship let me know how it resonates in the comments remember some of these are future energies so we're waiting for things to unfold but if you feel called to please check out my beautiful book attract soulmate love and follow up feminine frequency it's for the feminine energy partner if you are looking for a masculine energy partner okay calling that person into your life so that you can come into right alignment if that resonates you can read loads more about it on my website it is linked in the description box. I've loved doing this reading for you and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three. This is for everyone who picked the amazing raw aquamarine crystal. I absolutely love this crystal. I think uh, you don't see aquamarine uh, like this very often so I thought it was quite special when I got it. 
Um, all right, I'm going to begin with your oracle cards. We're going to take a look at the energy surrounding your next relationship. So it's like your next significant relationship, not a fling, uh, not just someone you're dating, but somebody that you actually get into union with. Um, and I've also got some lesser tiles as well. So I will pick some of those. So let's start. Oh, you're going to love this so much. Look at this. The card love. Opening your reading with that powerful message, we've got Retreat from the um, Romance Angels deck, Children. <laughs> oh dear. We've got the Spirit Animal of Tarantula. Not my favourite. Um, but that's just me. If you love spiders, do let me know. Um, and then I can have lots of weird nightmares about them. Um, We've got the card Hold Your Vision from the Moonology deck and Illumination, right? So I'm sensing that this person who's coming into your life um, for your next relationship, it's going to really kind of expand your awareness about kind of who you are, your own feelings. Um, there's this reflection on a lake here. So there's a lot in this person where you mirror each other, where you reflect each other's qualities, uh, you know, that you have a lot in common. Um, which I think is really sweet. I feel like this person is, um, this essence of illumination. It's just like maybe they're a teacher or something like this because I'm just getting this uh, message that they share their knowledge or their wisdom with other people in order to expand other people's knowledge or to, um, you know, expand their awareness. So they have knowledge that they share with other people. So it could be in a teaching capacity or a leading capacity. Um, something like this but yeah they're interested they've got a keen mind they're interested in, in learning things um we've got the card children this can indicate that this is somebody who really um loves children who would like to have children when the time is right in their life um this may not be uh this is just a general reading so this may not be for you but um it could be someone that just, uh, you know, kids just love them, that they're very playful. Uh, it can also indicate that you feel very kind of relaxed and playful um, around this person. You know, they bring out the sort of lighter side of you and rem remind you not to take love and life too seriously. So that's nice. We've got the card Retreat. So I feel like you may meet this person. If you have a spiritual practice, maybe it's yoga, maybe it's meditation, something like this, you may meet them through that interest that you have or that interest could be something that really um, bonds you together. Um, that's the message that I'm getting. It could also indicate that you meet each other like on a vacation or when you're on a weekend away or something like this, or perhaps you go on a retreat um, some sort of wellness retreat or to learn something, you may meet them there. So that's indicated um, with this card, which I think is really nice. So we have the card love. This is true love is what I'm hearing. And look, I don't know if you can see the image here. Let's try. I can never tell whether it's in focus or not until after I upload the video. So we're going to have to guess. Um, but the image is of two hands holding a heart and the heart is a flame so it's just like they're gonna set your heart on fire they're gonna just like it's just like this combination that I'm getting of love and passion so it's just like a very intense loving connection this is someone who's got an open heart this is someone who's ready to love it's someone that you can kind of give your heart to because it's like these hands uh, holding this heart so you know it's safe for you to give your heart to this person. Um, it feels really nice. I really like to see that for you. It feels really good. Um, <laughs> this tarantula, which is not my favorite. Um, I can't look. <laughs> it, um, this indicates, this is like an old friend. Not necessarily like they are an old friend, could be, but they feel like an old friend. So what I'm hearing is like this relationship feels like a comfortable uh, jumper. I think, what do you say in America? Sweater. I have to use American English, otherwise no one knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> right? Um, it's got this kind of comfortable nature, like you, you feel like you've known them for a lot longer than you actually have. You know, we have those clothes which we wear out, which make us look smart and lovely and that we feel really cool and 
stylish but like it's always nice to get home and just put on your comfy jumper or your comfy sweater right this is what this relationship feels like it just feels like coming home it feels like it's very um comfortable like you can just be yourself with this person you don't have to and like right from the start as well you never have to uh pretend to be something that you're not um in order to try and uh you know show your best side or to impress them you're just like they're just themselves with you and you're just themselves with them and that is the mark of a really beautiful healthy connection so there's this energy of them being um an old friend and it also indicates like a soul connection as well just someone that kind of comfort that level of fam familiarity indicates this kind of soul level connection you know because there's this uh sensitivity here with this um tarantula spirit energy um spirit animal card so I like that we have this card hold your vision so what i'm hearing from spirit is just like don't give up on love this is a fixed moon don't give up on what it is that you want if you're thinking oh all the good ones are taken all the good ones are married um i never meet anyone that i have an in common with stuff in common with or that i'm attracted to you know hold your vision perhaps you've got them on a vision board perhaps you've kind of been journaling about what it is that you want to experience and spirit is saying don't give up on that right don't um don't let go of that hold your vision clearly and then the universe will be able to bring in to you when all resistance is dissolved, right? The universe will be able to bring to you uh, this relationship, this connection, which you may be manifesting, whether you know it or not, you've got like a clear vision in your mind about what it is that you want and you are manifesting that. Right, let's get some letter tiles for you as an indication as <laughs> said. <laughs> um, pretty special. A C. E, an I, a B, an E, another E, <clears throat> an A, a V, and an L, all right? So that's what we've got. I'm gonna take a look at your tarot cards today and see what other messages we have. We've got Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, The Moon, Death, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles and the Emperor. All right. So I see Aries energy here, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo's energy as well uh, represented in this reading. So those are the significant energies. They may be yours, they may be your person when you meet them. This is somebody who is uh, very attracted to you, really has got you up on the pedestal. I feel like you're drawing them in with your magnetism. Like I feel like the work that you've done on yourself is really paying off, right? If you've been working on yourself, feeling more confident, uh, you know, following your bliss, uh, following your goals and dreams, this is really like raising your vibration and it's calling this person into you. It's making you magnetic to, uh, you know, true love, like we were talking about this beautiful love that's coming in for you. So they see you as very magical, very attractive. I feel like you're just gonna, um, that feeling of knowing that you're treasured, of knowing that, um, you know, someone's really into you is, is so lovely. So I see that here. This is somebody who's very generous. Um, they may be quite altruistic, you know, quite, um, focused on the community or on society or they I'm sensing that they may be quite political as well in their opinions about kind of you know what's for the greater good of people and you know wanting humanity to be kind of lifted up you know people um, you know being able to lift people up out of poverty and struggle ace of swords this is somebody with a really sharp intellect I sense that they're quite witty as well you know that they like to they've got like quite a, a quick sense of humor uh, you know, they're quite sharp, um, but they've got this sharp intellect as well. They may work um, in communication, this is indicated here, maybe journalism, maybe writing, um, 
lots of different things actually, but communication could be uh, like a large part of their of their job. You know, maybe if they're teaching, um, if they are doing a lot of public speaking, for instance, this is indicated here with your person. So this is magical. I love this for you, the moon and the death card. So at the center of your reading, there is a change going on here and there is a shift within you, an inner energetic shift that is happening uh, in your life or within yourself of just kind of leaving these fears. These fears that you have are being transformed, right? Those fears of where is my person? There's nobody for me. What if I'm, uh, what if I die alone? All of this is being transformed into something more positive, into something where you can kind of leave all that behind. You can, what I'm hearing from spirit is you can leave your doubts behind and they are transformed, right? Um, perhaps through this journey that we were talking about where you've been working on yourself because I feel like you've been waiting quite patiently for this relationship, for this person to come to you and it's absolutely going to be worth the wait because here they are. You know, this person's coming in for you who has a serious love offer to make for you. You know, this could be, um, you know, wanting to move in together or even wanting to get married, right? This is somebody who's very romantic, who knows like how to be romantic and how to be thoughtful. But this is someone who's coming in with an offer of love for you. And this love is genuine. This love is real. Okay. Uh, so I see that happening and it is going to create some change in your life. You know, this is what we're seeing with this death card in the middle of your reading as well, and now this Two of Pentacles. Getting into this relationship will create changes in your life. And I guess that is to be expected, right? Um, that it will create change in your life. So it could um, mean that you move or relocate, or it could just mean a, a different routine or moving house or something like this. So there's going to be this kind of energy of kind of things shifting and changing for you. But ultimately things will be stable. This is somebody who you can really kind of rely on. This is somebody who is genuine, who is just solid. You know, this card has uh, these mountain images in the background. So it's just somebody that is offering you something real. It isn't smoke and mirrors. It isn't nonsense. It isn't someone who wants to play games. This is somebody who wants something really real. Okay. And to create a foundation for the long term right? Create this solid foundation of kind of building um, on this connection, right? So again, the, you know, that it's a meaningful offer that they're bringing you. And I really like it. So it's kind of, it's Aries energy represented here, but yeah, it just feels very, um, it's just someone that you can really kind of invest in is what I'm hearing, you know, that it's just, and, and that they can invest in you that they want to be solid, that they want a real relationship. Um, but ultimately, you know, if it does create changes in your life, um, what I'm hearing is there may be a lot, a bit of back and forth. So there may be some uh, traveling or some practical issues to sort out, but ultimately um, it's going to create a solid foundation for you with somebody. This is somebody who is a leader, maybe a manager, uh, you know, maybe kind of working towards their career like that, working up the career ladder. Um, somebody who's very mature in their outlook, right? Um, in their life, they've just got this mature outlook. But just somebody that you can really rely on who's really solid. So if you've dealt with people in the past who've been a bit wishy-washy, um, who haven't really been committed, this is like a solid card of commitment for the future. And this is what this beautiful love is bringing you, right? I really like this for you so much. I really like this. And I just feel like this is a reassuring message for you as well. Like if you've um, been let down in the past, that this is somebody who... Um, you can count on is what I'm hearing. So yeah, I love it. That's everything that I have for you in this reading. Uh, let me know how it resonates. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. If you feel called to check out my books, Attract Soulmate Love and the follow-up Feminine Frequency. So it's all about um, feminine frequency. It's all about feminine energy communication. So if you are the feminine energy uh, partner and you are looking for a masculine energy partner, regardless of your gender, um, then this book is for you. 
it will help you to call that special person into your life and uh, uh, learn how to express yourself in a feminine energy way through communicating online, um, through your body language, and also through your conversation. So check that out if it resonates. Loads more about me and what I have to offer on my website. But I love you all so, so much. Um, have an amazing week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number four. It's lovely to see you. We're going to explore the energies um, surrounding this next relationship. So this isn't like your next hookup or your next fling or or whatever, this is kind of your next significant relationship where you are kind of in union with this person. So this is for everyone who picked the beautiful Aura Quartz. It is absolutely amazing, beautiful inclusions in this uh, crystal. Lovely energy, if you can see that. All right, I've got some letter tiles as well, my trusty letter tiles, which I will uh, look at in a moment, but I'm gonna begin with your Oracle cards today. All right, so we have the card, the Seeker. You can see that. Let go of control issues. Keep an open mind. Oh, look, the lovely animal spirit of otter. Um, that may be a spirit animal for you already, but it's lovely to see the otter in a reading. Uh, confidence is the key to your success. Um, and the card security. So all my cards are linked in the description box if you ever see some that you like. So this card security, this is like, there's this image of a fire and what I'm getting is like keeping the home fires burning. Um, which, uh, so this is someone who can offer you a lot of security, okay, just like something that feels really safe and nourishing, but also like a lot of financial security as well. So this is someone who, uh, you know, wants to provide for their partner, who wants to provide for their family, um, you know, maybe financially or maybe just in terms of like, um, you know, making an effort, you know, pulling their weight, you know, putting that effort in to kind of create a successful life. So that's what I'm picking up on here. Um, and also just the fire of passion as well, just, you know, that kind of uh, spark of attraction, um, that beautiful passion, you know, just of a lot of intense emotion is what I'm picking up on here. Um, confidence is the key to your success from the Moonology deck. I love this deck so much. Um, I think it's the first Oracle card deck I got actually. It says new moon in Leo. So Leo's energy represented here for you. This is somebody who's very successful and somebody who's very confident. This is what I'm picking up on. It's just like expansive energy. This is somebody who um, knows what they want in life and just has that confident air about them and that people really respect them and that people really resonate with that confidence. They really believe in themselves is what I'm hearing. So um, yeah, this may be somebody who's got their own business, actually. They may have a startup. Um, they may have started their own business. They may have their own online business. Um, they may work in business or like they're quite, um, they're quite passionate about what it is that they do. But I just sense that they've kind of made their own money in some way. I'm just getting quite a specific message that maybe they've started their own business or and they're in the process of doing that or... Um, they're kind of on their own hustle or something like this. Maybe they're self-employed or they work for themselves. This is what I'm picking up on at the moment with this energy. We have keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So just, this is just like being open to life, right? Just, it doesn't, I always like to say, you know, it doesn't, like I don't have to worry too much about what's in the future, really, because I know it's going to be something good right? So maybe that's something you might want to adopt. And I feel like this is uh, one of the messages that Spirit has for you today of just kind of like, you don't need to worry, you know, because we've got this let, let go of control as well. You don't need to control everything. You don't need to micromanage it. You don't need to kind of, um, kind of wrestle with reality and kind of make things happen. Just like, I've got to find my soulmate. When you're in the right energy, that person will come to you, is what I'm hearing. So you become the magnet and you draw them in to yourself. So I see that here. I think it's going to be uh, really lovely. So it's just about that kind of openness to allowing that good to come to you. All right. So sometimes we can block our own good through uh, our fears of just like, we're never going to find our person, they're never going to come along, um, I've been single forever, what's going to happen, right? 
our fears become the resistance that stop our good from coming to us. So just know that good is coming your way. This is the seeker. This is like um, a little bit like the fool energy in the tarot. This is just like someone who's uh, up for an adventure, right? It's especially with this otter energy. This is somebody who like, oh, I'm getting lots of different messages. This is somebody who wants to know what life is all about, the meaning of life, you know, looks for that deeper meaning in life, doesn't just live on the surface of things, right? This is somebody who's seeking a lot of knowledge. So it's somebody who wants to learn more all the time. They're always learning, they're always reading, they're always listening to podcasts. They love um, having conversations that expand their knowledge, okay? So this is someone who's like thirsty for like knowledge and understanding of life and is really excited about, um, kind of just like what life has to offer and what life is all about and what makes people tick and stuff like this. They're interested in things, right? And then this beautiful otter image, um, excuse me, spirit animal that I was so pleased to see in this reading. This is just like the energy of playfulness. The otter needs nothing, right? So this is someone who's completely self-contained. They're not looking for other people's approval or for somebody else to love them when they can't love themselves. They're just like happy doing their own thing. There's a happy-go-lucky is what I'm hearing as well. Just really happy-go-lucky. It's a nice way to be. I wish I could be like that. Um, but yeah, somebody who doesn't, they just don't worry about life. They're very playful. Um, maybe they like practical jokes or just like um, sharing funny memes and things like this. It's just somebody who uh, just likes to make people laugh and just have people, they want people around them who are kind of happy. This is someone who's super, super optimistic. Like, as far as they're concerned, the glass is half full, life is great, right? And there's, that energy is just like really infectious. You just like really, uh, people are drawn to them. They really wanna get involved in that. You just like, when you're around this person, you just feel really good. It makes them very magnetic, all right? I'm gonna pick some of these lovely letter tiles now. We've got a C. A T, sorry, these little letters are so difficult to pick up. Let me try with my right hand and I might make my life a bit easier. Uh, an E. What's this one? An N. An R. I was saying to one of the other groups, I have to be careful not to spell out something rude. It has happened. <laughs> an M and an I, all right? So that may be significant to you on your journey towards this person. Right, let's take a look at your tarot. Wow, a powerful opening to your reading. Look at this, the devil. I like this, six of swords. I'm getting messages coming in already. 10 of pentacles. I love it, the star. I love to see the star in a reading. Queen of pentacles at the center of your reading. Ace of pentacles. Look at their strength. Three of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. There is a lot of money in this reading. A lot of money. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I think this is somebody who's really solvent, right? This is somebody who's like um, financially independent, who uh, makes their own money, who has their own money. Um, they may even be a millionaire. I don't know, but just very comfortable, definitely. They don't want for anything materially, um, which is interesting. Now, there's this message here that I'm getting with this devil to the Six of Swords. This is like moving away from something toxic. So this person could have moved away. I'm hearing for some of them physically, like f relocating from uh, a toxic relationship, something where... Um, I like a really unhealthy dynamic is what I'm hearing now. For some of you, this may be you, okay? Only if it resonates, of course, it's just a general reading, but this may be you. So there is this energy here of kind of moving on from something which is no longer serving and which was toxic and unhealthy, but moving towards, let me take a sip of my water. That's better, moving towards Look at this, this beautiful Ten of Pentacles. This is like, um, this person just sees you as their perfect Ten. This is like a lot of fulfillment here. Um, just um, that feeling of abundance, you know, an abundance of love, an abundance of good feelings, um, just connecting 
um, on that beautiful level as well. So I love it so much. And we've got the beautiful star, this is love coming in for you. So this is somebody who really loves you. It feels like a healing sort of love. It's kind of a, it's the kind of love that makes you believe in love again. It's the kind of love that makes other people believe in love again when they will see you with this person. So this is really nice. I love to see this. It's very uh, genuine, this love as well and it's kind of it's got like long-term growth with this queen of pentacles as well so it's something that can be nurtured that can be um invested in that can grow right um over time so it's got like this long-term potential here um also when i see the queen of pentacles and the star this indicates that this is somebody who's really into their health they may be into their like spiritual well-being and really kind of take care of themselves um like that or kind of be aware of their own spirituality or it may be that they take care of their physical body I'm sensing that they really like to uh, eat well to work out to go to the gym or to go uh, running or hiking um, they really like to get out in nature they feel really replenished in nature I feel like this person right doesn't do a lot of work but gets a lot of return on the work that they do I don't know why it's just a message that I'm getting so it's just like they work three or four days a week and then they get like all the money they could ever need um, or it could be that they've got one of those laptop lifestyles where they're able to kind of work from the beach or something like this which would be a fine thing <laughs> indeed um, so yeah I don't know that's just what I'm picking up on but definitely interested in like longevity and taking care of themselves and uh, you know really looking after themselves into nutrition and fitness and um, yeah stuff like that so I see that so they're bringing this beautiful opportunity towards you like this has got a lot of potential right um, and the potential is for a love that is fierce this is the message that I'm getting with this strength card did I talk about the zodiac signs I don't remember I don't remember Capricorn we've got Aquarius Leo Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Those are the predominant ones, so that may resonate with you. But yeah, so they're bringing in this potential for a love that is fierce, like strong, that feels kind of really uh, strong and intense for you because the strength card is really, um, you know, it's a card of the heart, right? It's a card of the heart, that Leo energy, that card of the heart, um, you know, of, of loyalty, somebody who's really loyal, there's this infinity symbol here above her head, so it's like, you know, long-term potential, but it's like you're, you've always been together, even when you've not been together and you didn't know this person, they've kind of always been with you, right? So you may feel them energetically, is what I'm picking up on, but also just this invitation to kind of love at this deep level, and you may be afraid with the strength card to kind of, to accept or to receive a love like that but that's the invitation that they're bringing you we all say that we want a relationship we all say that we want to be loved but to kind of be that open that vulnerable uh, can be very tricky you know it's what causes a lot of issues in relationships right but ultimately this is going to give you something to celebrate i feel like you stand out from the crowd for them it's just like they've only got eyes for you you stand out from the crowd for them um I feel like you may meet them at a social gathering. I know that's really unlikely in 2020, um, the way things are, but particularly with this 10 of pentacles, it's indicated that you will meet through family, through a family event, through a family gathering, through some sort of wedding or celebration, right? Again, I know it seems unlikely, but this is the thing that's most indicated here, or that you will meet through friends or mutual friends, something like this. So if someone offers to set you up on a date, say yes. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you're going to kind of stand out from the crowd for them, that you're going to kind of, look at this, because she kind of seems golden, right? Regardless of your gender, this is just like, they see what it is that you've got going on. Um, they're kind of identifying that you're single, they're identifying um, that you're a catch, is what I'm hearing, um, you know, that you seem golden, that you've got your own stuff going on, right? 
that you've got your own stuff going on, that you're working towards your own goals and dreams, and they kind of identify you uh, not as an option, but as the one, as what I'm hearing. So I think that's really lovely. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honour to read your cards, as always. If you're looking to call that special person into your life, do check out my book, Attract Soulmate Love, and the follow-up, Feminine Frequency. So my books are all about feminine energy, dating, relationships, and communication. So if you are the feminine energy partner and you are looking for a masculine energy partner, um, then these books are definitely for you. You can find out more over on my IGTV, Lumiere underscore Mystic, and at my website, Lumiere tarot.com but have an amazing week i'm sending you lots of love and light and i look forward to seeing you again soon here on lumiere take care bye bye